Good day everyone, I'm Dan. Welcome back to Pretty Average Astro. In this video, I've got a short equipment review on the HEQ5 here. Uh, so I'll go through where I got it, uh, what it's for, a few of the details, um, and pretty much I'll put it together and give you a small uh, opinion and hopefully it helps. I couldn't really find much uh, online in regards to this actual pier um, because it's 40 centimeters, that's, it's actually quite large. Uh, with the AZEQ6, for example, their pier extensions are only 20 centimeters. So I could only really find some random pictures of the internet or Facebook groups where someone's just happened to have one and posted a photo and it's pretty much in the background or something. So hopefully this helps or if you've been uh, wondering about this type of option, yeah, hopefully it gives you a decent idea. So I purchased this in person from an Australian store called Astro Anarchy. Pretty sick name. They're a local store, uh, for me anyway, in Green Slopes, Brisbane. So if you're from Australia or New Zealand, I'd highly recommend uh, checking out their website. It's really well laid out. They've got very competitive prices. And the best thing about their site is they mostly include their shipping in all their items, which I find super helpful. There's nothing worse than putting in all your stuff in the cart than realizing there's an extra $50 postage. And the best thing, if you're in Brisbane or, or close to Brisbane, if you do visit in store, you obviously save on that postage. So online, this is $175 postage, but because I bought it in store, it was uh, $150 Australian. And I uh, met the owner, Pete, and yeah, he's, he's super helpful. So definitely recommend checking them out. Anyway, I should probably crack this open. So here it is, uh, as far as metal poles are concerned, this was packaged very well. Uh, it comes with an Allen key and that's pretty much it. So as you can see on the bottom, uh, this is where it's going to sit into your north groove on your tripod. And then I'm guessing undo these Allen keys, uh, attach this to the bottom of the actual mount and then slot that onto the pier and redo up these alum keys. So the reason I purchased the pier, I'm trying to justify my spending, was initially when I did first get the HEQ5 mount, I came close to almost hitting the tripod when imaging, but it wasn't too bad and I could adjust my rig to not hit and it was close, but it was fine and I kind of lived with it. I usually ran into problems when doing planetary and using a longer imaging train with uh, eyepiece holders and barlows and, and stuff and if the planets were a bit higher closer to the meridian or, or whatever when visual. So that's where I sort of ran into problems but I kind of lived with it, didn't really need it. Uh, but since I got the Skywatcher HD AZ mount, I didn't realize that this tripod fits onto the EQ3, EQ5, and I think even the EZ, EZ, AZ5, AZ EQ5, uh, as well as my HEQ5. So the tripod's all the, the same, which I noticed as soon as I had done this video for this. And as you can see, this is a massive issue. if for having a refractor, so as soon as a uh, target's slightly higher, I run into issues pretty quickly. Even with the tripod all the way up, it's still quite low for me, I I'm quite tall, uh, but the main reason is it's hitting the tripod quite often. So my plan is probably to have this on here most of the time. Don't really need it on this yet, I would like it. Maybe I'll get two, who knows. Um, but that's the reason why I purchased it. So I'll probably set it up with uh, the imaging mount first and then I'll put it on the manual mount as this is probably where it's going to live uh, after this uh, for most of the time. 
and see how it goes. So this bottom part is going to go straight over that little nub there. It's going to sit in and screw in from the bottom. So from here I'm going to take the top off, uh, add it to the mount and then place it back on top and do up the allen keys. So I'm not sure if you can see but these holes actually line up so I thought maybe uh, these screws just hold it in by gripping the actual plate but no they actually screw in so it's going to be very secure and this is similar to the bottom of the usual mount. So as you can see, this is actually fit for purpose. So where these line up, this is directly in line with the north tripod leg. So hopefully you can still hear me, my neighbors mowing their yard uh, just behind me, but uh, weather like this, so they should be. Uh, and I'm standing to the side because the sun's beaming in just there. But this is the height. Uh, as is, so that's the tripod legs at their smallest, um, and yeah, I, I like it. It's decent height. Um, it's definitely a, a taller pier than, than 20 centimetres, but I, I actually don't mind the height now that I see it in person. Uh, I'm 187 centimetres, so that's pretty much it. But what I'll do now is I'll put my imaging train on it because it's just going to get taller. So uh, it makes a difference, um, it's a lot taller, uh, but I think it looks pretty mean. A little bit funky, but it looks pretty mean. The only issue I guess is, is carrying it now, um, but it doesn't look too bad. It's a little bit taller, but as long as I... It's actually a little bit more comfier because the pier sort of rests in my shoulder. I'll just have to be a bit more weary of the height but I'll give you a little demo it's actually not as bad it does add five kilos but I don't actually really feel it um, so as long as you're fit ish you don't have to walk too far it's um, it's still semi portable but if it's that tall I kind of want to see what it what it looks like with the tripods at full length, so I'm going to do that now. Here we go. Oh, fuck that, son's a bastard. The Taj Mahal of HEQ5 mounts. That's epic. Oh, if you need to get over a fence or a small tree, this could be your option. That's uh, that's wicked. Um, and I think what I forgot to do, I forgot to show you how much it clears uh, the uh, the tripod legs. Um, so I'll just give you a quick demo. So now, absolutely. No issues at all, getting near the tripod, ah, legs. That's wicked, I like it. Um, yeah, I don't really want to, but I'm going to take it down now uh, and I'll set up the HDAZ mount. Alrighty, round two with the HDAZ mount. So, same again, sits right on. So, same thing again, but a little bit more simpler. So this should, I'm hoping, sit just in there, which it looks like it will, which is great. 
screw that in. Oh. A bit easier to do on the ground, but it's all right. So it's all nice and secure. So my phone just died, so the mountain has magically appeared on the pier. So apologies for this, um, because I was unprepared and my phone died, I can't use my microphone because it's currently charging. But this sits in the exact same, just got to do up this bolt. Um, so apologies for my voice just coming through the phone's microphone. But for now, I'll go get the big Bertha. Alright, and here it is. I reckon it looks fantastic. I was originally, because the mount was black, down the track I had in my, my mind that I was maybe going to paint this uh, a matte black as well to kind of match, but the telescope white and black, it actually looks, actually looks rad. I'll spin it around, uh, so that's how it looks. It's pretty, pretty cool. Um, so as you can see, I had a massive issue before with that tripod, but now this is fine. Um, looking in, it's probably still a little bit low, but it's better than me being almost on my belly trying to, <laughs> trying to look up. Um, so yeah, it's great. And if you haven't seen my review on this mount, I think it was my first video, so I apologise, it's pretty terrible. Um, but yeah, I might actually do the same thing and lift up the tripod legs um, to see if I can get it kind of my height. Um, but yeah, this is it for now and hopefully you can hear me. I almost got through a video without a microphone issue. Um, and I'm starting to run out of light. This video was all impromptu, but we're getting through it. I just thought I'd capture this on video too. This is super light. I just went to do adjust the tripod things. Um, it's a lot lighter than having a HT Q5 on it. Got my microphone back on. Uh, so here it is. Uh, tripod legs are actually at full height and it's actually perfect for me. So as long as it's not pretty much on the horizon, I'll need a step, but everything else is kind of perfect for me um, and yeah I'm just it just looks impressive really happy with it so um, so I'm not sure you may or may not have watched my last video but I sold my DSLR camera and purchased a couple of filters one of them being the beta contrast booster for achromatic refractors so I believe this is a four element it's, it's not ED glass or anything, but it's supposed to try and correct uh, chromatic aberration. I have had a look at the moon, it, it is still there. Um, so hopefully the contrast booster should help. Um, and I feel kind of bad because I purchased this at the start of the year, the, the mount and the telescope second hand. Uh, the mount was new and I haven't really used it that, that much. So mainly because of the height um, so now that I have this, um, I should be doing a little bit more and I'm going to leave it out tonight, have a little play around and maybe in a future video I'll actually review the Abreza mount now that I've got the contrast booster filter. Um, but hopefully this is helpful and hopefully it gives you a good idea of what to expect if you were looking at purchasing an extension peer for your HEQ5, EQ3 or, or whatever and what 40 centimeters look, looks like but thank you very much uh, for tuning in and thanks just in general uh, from everyone subscribing I think I'm close to 500 and I couldn't imagine um, talking in front of 500 people so it's pretty cool uh, that I can do this in the comfort of my backyard and still reach out to a heap of people so thanks again and see you next time